Hey everybody, how we doing today? It's a wow day here in Florida Keys. Man, what a nice day. So we're back to the mid 70s. Low winds today, it's under 10, probably about six or seven. Full sun. But it's about two o'clock, so I don't have a lot of time. So I think, I was thinking about heading out to the reef, but because uh, lack of time, I think I'm gonna do another patch reef run, do some fun fishing, make up for yesterday's lack of fishing and uh, see what's around there. So first we're gonna try to pick up some bait. Mainly I'm looking for some dead bait. So maybe glass minnows, pilchards, um, maybe some mullet, just something that I could uh, just kind of float back. I've got some chum already. Hopefully the ballyhoo will show up. And then I think I might do a offshore run tomorrow. That looks good. Maybe do uh, see if the sailfish are around. Um, that'll help me out to find out if I can catch some uh, ballyhoo as well. So that's the plan. Beautiful, beautiful day. All right, we're on some filters. See some flashes. Flashes are good. I can get the net shut without letting them go. Yep, there are some nicies. All right, let's go fishing. It's so calm today, but uh, now you can actually see what I'm fishing when I talk about being right off the edge of the flats. So that's why I was catching bait right there. Come a hundred yards out and then you got this. These are somewhat like a rock pile, patch reefs. They're just oasises out in the middle of nowhere. Outside of this is just sand, but you can see all the fish right there. Look at all those mangroves. So these rock piles are just full of mangroves right now. But my strategy for fishing these is I would get, because the current's kind of blowing this way, I would go anchor up on the far side of the rock piles, find where the sand starts, and then anchor in that. Then let the chum drift over all these spots. Okay, and that pulls them out. And then that gets those fish out into those sandy areas where I have a better fighting chance versus dropping a hook right here that can go into these rocky holes and I'll never get them out. So that is the strategy for what we're doing today, just farther out. And then what's surrounding those rock piles everywhere else, all this whole rest of the ocean is basically this, which is just grassy or sandy bottom. That's why it's so important to find structure. I mean, you're just out here in a desert of nothing and then you find those rock piles and structure, patch reefs, get to the reefs and that's where the fish are because that's where the safety, that's where those ambush points are, that's where the bait's hanging out. So that's the plan. All right, so we're kind of in the area that we're gonna fish. We're about three miles out. We're right now on top of this kind of plateau. So it's about 10, 11, 12 foot deep right here. And then we're going to keep going until he drops off the edge and goes down to 20, 25 foot. And the current is running uh, east to west this way. So we're going to want to find the edge and then go east, anchor up. And so our chum just flushes down that edge. Because up top here, there's not going to be a lot of uh, stuff going on. A lot of little fishies, coral heads, angelfish. But where the big targeted fish that we're going to target are actually on those edges there. So let's find that edge. All right, we just dropped off the edge. So it's there and then it drops off. So this is 20 feet here. There's still some patches of uh, corals and stuff here, but you can see the it's all sandy bottom. All right, just put out the first bait there, and I saw what it was. 
Oh. Came up and whacked it. Little yellow jack. There's also a Ciro mackerel that was down there. I put a knocker rig on this thing and didn't even make it to the bottom. There's a beautiful yellow jack. Kick things off. Pretty colorations there. Saw a Ciro mackerel a little while. Was, oh, got all those yellow jacks. They're gonna be a problem. All right, this is on the knocker rig. Get out of there. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of sharkish. Oh, it's a big mangrove mutton. Big mutton. Hey, Ciro's, get out of there. Nice mutton. Bam. No goopers today, but we get the big muttons. Watch that hook. Hey, watch your head. There we go. Bam. All right, there we go. Nice, pretty mutton there. Got him on the knocker rig. Well, I got that mutton on a knocker rig with a mullet chunk. That seems to be the go-to bait for all this stuff. Maybe it's like a super treat for these guys when they smell this thing, but that's basically the rig there. Five out circle, chunk of mullet. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but there's a trench of white sand patch right through here, and that's kind of where I'm dropping it. If I don't drop it in that kind of area there, they only have to go a few inches and then they're into all this scruff and reef and all that stuff. So if I place it right in the middle of that sand, that knocker rig will get that bait and the, uh, the weight just right down. Oops, messing with it. Something's taking it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Shoot! Just like that. Dang it! That was my grouper, I bet you. Ay. Oh. So it basically went from there to there and then it broke me off. So I think it's time to bring out the heavy rod. They're gonna play those games. Dang it! 30 pound leader just cut just like that. All right, we've got the uh, Esky 20 pound rod. So that's my uh, heavy. Try that mullet head again. Oh, I see Ballyhoo showed up, so that'll be good. Put down a live Ballyhoo. But that mullet chunks are just like the shizzle, so we'll give this a little try. Go ahead and try me now, whatever you were down there. Not gonna let them take off as far as I did, and then I've got it pretty much locked down, plus a heavier rod. There we go. Oh. Oh. God, that's not good. And he rocked me up. Just like that. God dang it. Oh, he's pulling against me. Oh. Dang it! Man, he knows exactly where to go, just straight to his hole. Oh. Dang it! All right, we're gonna go with the mullet head, same rig. Lock down that drag. That time my mistake was standing up. Uh, the issue with the kayak is, is that 
it doesn't have any drag so a fish like that can just pull me so i'm getting pulled with the kayak along and that's unstable i can't really put a lot of weight onto it all right let's do this gotta stop this guy just boom as soon as he just picks it up i gotta hit him and that be it i'm just watching the line i don't even want to wait till the pole starts hitting as soon as that line starts straightening out i need to hit them and i just need to start pulling on them something's messing with it oh dang it it's probably something small that just oh I think this is it. Get up. Get up, you son of a bitch. Get up. <laughs> Getting you up. Getting you up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 got him, got him, got him. Look at all that line hanging out of his face. Gotcha with the tuna skins. <laughs> yeah. Screw with me, buddy. There we go. Got him. <laughs> got him, got him, got him. All right. Thank you for the fight. One, two hooks. Got him. <laughs> and got some of my hooks back. Look at that. Seven knots still brand new. Cut me off. Knew I'd get that, dude. You're not so big. Ah. Uh, ouch. You're a little dude playing a big boy's game. Alrighty, I'm gonna call it an evening. The sun has set. Definitely a fun day here on the patcheries. Nice being so close. I can just head right in, a couple minutes, and bam, done. Uh, got that one grouper, <laughs> lost about five of them. That's okay, I gotta work on that. It's that leverage is just so difficult on a kayak, on an anchor, because they could pull you so easily. So we'll work on that. Maybe stop by at CVS, see if they have any man pills on sale. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Today's video is sponsored by the mullet shirt. I definitely gotta pick up a few more mullet when I came out here, and uh, that seems to be working out really well in the patcheries. Might even try dropping a live one down there. They ought to like that, so. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.